Welcome to our daily Timothy time, a ministry under the umbrella of Wooden Cross Bible Fellowship here in Trondheim in Norway. My name is Carl Coates and it's a privilege, it's a pleasure and an absolute joy to be with you once again with an open King James Bible looking at a Bible reading plan that is dispensationally considered. Said another way, it's a Bible reading plan that's two-tiered that acknowledges things that differ. It, it, it sees the distinctions in the scripture. The big one being the prophetic program, the, the, the prophetic kingdom program, should I say, and the mystery. So how does it work? Well, it's two-tiered, as I said. We read Paul's epistles, Romans to Philemon, in a non-stop cycle. And in each month, we look at a particular book out of the canon of scripture. So we recognize Paul's unique apostleship and the letters he wrote to us as members of the church, the body of Christ. And then we also look at Israel's scripture. This month we're looking at Leviticus, and in particular, chapter 26. So, yeah, it's a reading plan that's just not your average, ordinary, daily devotional. Nothing wrong with them, but this one acknowledges Paul, the unique apostleship of Paul. So, um, you, you saw the reading as you came in here. It's uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and 16, closing out that epistle of Paul's. And today we're going to be in Leviticus chapter 26, Verses 19 through 21. So it's a nice gentle read today. And you remember our daily Timothy time is to, it's, I'm here to uh, uh, encourage you to read. You know, if you haven't read for a while, get back in the book and read. When you read the words on the pages here, God's reading you. This book is, these words are alive. They, they're quick. These words are alive. This is the living word of God. And I, I tell my children sometimes, you know, when we, we, when we do, they're young, so you can't get into detail. But I, I do tell, especially my eldest one. Uh, you know, hey, Maud, this book is sharp. You'll cut your fingers if you don't know how to handle it. Now, obviously, physically, you won't cut your fingers. Maybe you'll get a paper cut or two. But um, the, this is the living Word of God. And the Word of God does the work of God. I'm, I had a, a fresh reminder of that in my ministry just recently. You know, when you're dealing with folks that hold a position that's different to you, uh, it's, it, you quickly can slip into the flesh and, you know, try and argue your points. Where we should actually, and again, I'm, and this, it was a nice reminder to me once again. Listen, just put, give them the verses. Give the person the verses and let the Word of God do the work of God. So, anyway, if you're new to this channel, welcome in. I hope you have a great time here today. Well, when I say great time, I hope you uh, get something out of today. I hope, you, you, I hope this is a helper of your joy. And uh, please consider subscribing and pressing the bell so you can be notified of the Our Daily Timothy Times and the really uh, um, uh, the, 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 the important messages that I'm currently working on that will be up on this channel in, 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 a, in a short while. We're going to be looking at the gospel account, or the Gospels. You know, there's a notion that there's only one gospel in the Bible. We're going to be addressing that. That's going to be a really, really edifying uh, message. And I'm also working on a, 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 bi a biographical on a Paulus, was he a member of the little flock or was he a member of the church, the body of Christ? There's varying opinions on that, but so we'll have a look at that and um, that should be really interesting for you if that's what you want to look at. So, um, and to see those, subscribe, press the bell so you can be notified. And if you are a returning viewer and have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Lastly, uh, if you're looking for commentaries, in the description box down below, I'm going to put some links to Marion Manley's commentaries on the on the apostle or on paul's epistles We're, we've been reading first corinthians this is what the marion's one book on on, on corinthians first corinthians looks like uh, the link will be in the description box down below great tools you know sometimes you're reading through the scripture and you're doing your you're, you're comparing verses verse to get a better understanding to elucidate on the passage you're dealing with and you know it's nice every now and again i find to see what somebody else has to say and consider what they have to say. Go back to the scripture and see if it's so. So if you're looking for a tool, an aid, there it is there. Marion Manley's uh, commentary on 1 Corinthians. Right. What I'm going to do today um, uh, with the reading, there's quite a lot I need to cover. So in the, in the Leviticus 26 study, I'm not going to touch on anything today. Last time we met... In way of review, just very quickly, we looked at the first course of chastisement. And uh, I'll just say this again in, in, the way, in way of review. That I couldn't, time doesn't allow me to really dig down deep and 
go down all the different uh, avenues we need to to really get a thorough understanding of that first uh, uh, cycle of chastisement, first course of chastisement. But I'll say this, go back and just read. You know, uh, uh, read Leviticus 26, you know, that, that, that those opening few verses. Then take that across to Judges chapter 2, for an example, and see how Israel, they were told to do something, and what did they do? They did the opposite. So what did God say? If you do this, then you get that. But if you don't, this is going to happen. So that God said, don't do this. And what did they do? They went and did it. They went and served Baal and Astroth, it says in Judges chapter 2, in, the, in those opening verses. So what, what, is, so, what, so what happened? Well, that first course of chastisement kicked off in the book of, uh, of Judges. Now, you read Judges, and you see, you see the border skirmishes and all that. You know, read that. Also, go into read Ruth 2. And then, if, you, if you've got time, go into 1 Samuel and read all that. I mean, it's going to take you a bit of time. This is not something that's just going to happen in 10 minutes for you. You've got to invest time to read here. And you will see, and all the time that you re you're reading, Judges, Ruth, and, and that, those first, I think it's 10 uh, chapters of 1 Samuel, when you're reading that, in the back of your mind, just remember Leviticus 26. And that first course of chastisement you find in Leviticus 26, 16, and 17. Have a look and see if you can see what Israel should have seen. That, hey, look, look what's happening around us. Hey, isn't this exactly what God said would happen if we did, but if we don't listen to him? And then they should have gone, well, how do we remedy this? And they should have gone, well, the leaders should have gone, Ooh, Leviticus 26, 40. But what did they do? They didn't do that. And then, so it's going to take some reading. So that's in way of review of, of first the first cycle of chastisement in Leviticus 26. I'm not going to get into any more today because I've got a really important section I want to cover for the remainder few minutes over in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. So that's a review of, of the first course of chastisement. Tomorrow we'll continue with uh, um, what happened between the first and the second, there was something very important that happened in between the first and second courses of chastisement. We'll cover that tomorrow. Right, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I want to bring up the issue of Paul not being one of the twelve. And what, what's, what's, what's the big deal if Paul wasn't one of the twelve? Well, if, if you are under the impression that, and I, I say this gently, if you, are, if you think or if you've understood that Paul... Um, was equal and on the same commission or same um, had the same yeah commission as Pete and the, and 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 the, and the guys the other apostles. Hey, the, you you're going to end up in error. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna oppose yourself as uh, as it says over in Timothy. So the importance of recognizing Paul's unique apostleship is of utmost importance. I had a I had a, a, a an X two elderly gentleman been saved. 50, 60 years, uh, who, who doesn't recognize the unique apostleship of Paul. And then, you know, if the premise is false or, or out of line, the end result is just, it's, it's, the end result's going to be a flop as well. So if you don't recognize when Paul got saved and when the church, the body of Christ started, the rest of your doctrine is going to be, it's going to be, it's, it's broken. So, Paul, when you're in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 today and you read, let me just get the verse out. What I want you to do is just quickly focus in on, pay attention, pay attention to it all, but um, look at verse 5, 6, 7, and 8. And you can see, verse 5, and he was seen of Cephas. Who's the he? That's the risen and ascended Lord, the, the risen Lord Jesus Christ, should I say. And he was seen of Cephas, comma, then of the twelve. So Pete saw him first, then later on, Pete and the other 11 saw Christ. And then he, then, then he was seen of, of, of above 500 brethren at once. Um, and then, then, he, then he was seen of James. Then of all the apostles. Verse 8. And last of all, he was seen of me as one born out of due time. I look at that verse 8. And I'm, to me and my thinking, I'm going, that's when the risen and ascended Lord Jesus Christ saw Paul. Or started dealing with Paul, with, the, with giving him that the revelation of the mystery. Now again, views might differ on that, but that's how I see verse eight. Was a bit later on down the road in due time. Um, so, Paul, there's a couple of 
things to take into, into, into account here. Paul's, there's a couple of reasons why Paul is not one of the twelve. Well, number one, he was replaced by Matthias. Okay, well, where do you read that, Carl? Acts chapter 1. They threw, there was a, uh, he was replaced by Matthias. Paul wasn't qualified to go to that, to be considered. He wasn't qualified. He also didn't work or, or, or uh, yeah, he didn't work according to the commission in Matthew 28, Mark 16. He, 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 just, he just flat out didn't. And also, here's another thing too. One of the, the qualifying factors for, 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 for a replacement for Judas Iscariot, they had to have been there from the beginning. You read about that and I wrote down here, John 15, verse 26 and 27. Paul, I wrote here, Paul doesn't meet the, uh, the job description. He's not qualified because he wasn't there from the beginning. Paul, Paul you remember, he was... He, he, he looked at uh, John the Baptist and he looked at all those little flockers. What is he doing? He was killing those guys, putting them in prison. He was an enemy. So Paul flat out didn't qualify. And then also he wasn't under, he didn't work under that, that, that um, Matthew 28, that, that, that so-called Great Commission. He didn't function under that. And then um, there was an example I've just given you now where you can see from Scripture that he... he the 12, and Paul, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 15, as we read, saw, Paul wasn't in the mix there. Paul was separate. Okay. Then, in closing, if you had to be strolling down the street, thinking to yourself, goodness me, I'm a bit confused now. And if you happened, and you're not going to, but if you had to bump into Peter, and you said, hey, Pete, listen, bro. These guys over here are telling me that you're the rock, you're the man, you're the agent for today. I've got to listen to what you've got to say. But there is a group of people over there that, that read a King James Bible in the English language that understand that the church, the body of Christ, started in Acts 9. And they're saying, we must follow Paul. Peter, what's going on here? Pete would look you in the mince pies and say, listen, follow Paul. How do I know that? Well, you and I can both read in the scripture Galatians chapter 2. Take that across to Acts 15. Anyway, consider that today in your read in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and enjoy, enjoy the read today. Just remember our daily Timothy time is just here to promote reading. Hey, listen, if you haven't read the Bible, pick it up, dust it off and put your, put your nose back in the book. Renew your mind. Anyway, you have a fantastic day. Great to be with you. Looking forward to tomorrow. Till then, grace and peace. Maranatha.